Welcome, welcome, welcome to Copy School for Creative Coaches and Consultants. Uh, I'm actually going to think I'm going to change that title because I'm getting more and more small business owners, entrepreneurs, people who are thinking about getting started. You're all are welcome. All right. So I don't want to just limit it to those three. But thank you so much for clicking uh, this video. As you can see from the title, it's how to write highly email campaigns that don't suck. At the date of this recording is October 31st. So if you are panicked about not having your email template or having your email sequence already ready to go for Black Friday through Cyber Monday, don't freak out. Uh, my intention is, and my intention is that this tutorial will help you um, uh, begin to settle your mind and begin to write out your emails that you want to share during during that holiday frenzy time. Um, okay, so let's get started. I want to do a whole bunch of stuff. I'm going to get you in. I want you to get you fed, and then I want you to be able to go and create your own emails. Okay, so let's get to it. Uh, I don't think I introduced myself. So my name is Michelle Farley. I am a copywriter. Uh, I am an author, a creative entrepreneur, which basically means I do a lot of things that I deem to be creative and I make, um, uh, I made it into a business basically. Uh, but specific, yes, specifically, uh, I have a small copywriting agency where I have been able to help hundreds of entrepreneurs and brands share their unique stories for optimal impact and influence. And so that could be from helping a client write product descriptions to helping them write their website copy, to helping them write their uh, copy for their product launch or writing their scripts for uh, their commercials or videos. My services run the gamut, and I've been doing this now a little over a little over ten years. Um, I absolutely love it. I absolutely love helping um, small businesses succeed. Um, from helping them tell me what uh, what they're thinking, what they want, but not, not knowing the right words to say it, and helping them see their vision through. So that's my thing. So let's get into why you're here, though. Okay, you're here because you're like, yo, I didn't think about emails for the holiday. I have a small email list or maybe you're thinking I don't have an email list at all or I haven't emailed them in a very long time. These email templates are going to help you. One, uh, if you are beginning to. Um, capture subscribers some kind of way. Maybe you did a freebie. Uh, maybe you did a talk and you have you have these email addresses, but you don't know what to do with it. Or you have the uh, email marketing platform, but you haven't started it. Uh, these elements are going to help you to understand how you're supposed to create the emails that go to your subscribers, right? The whole point of capturing subscribers is to nurture them, to keep them engaged, to give them some type of education, um, to give them a, um, the want, the need to have your product or service um, for them or for someone else they know, okay? So today I'm gonna to talk to you about seven key elements to optimize your holiday email template. Now for Black Friday, you could simply do one email on Black Friday, one and done and be done with it. Or you could think about doing a sequence and this would maybe be something like a week before Black Friday, um, the day before Black Friday, all the way through Cyber Monday, okay? Um, whatever you decide to do, however many emails you decide to write, these seven elements, I believe, should be included within your email, all right? And we're going to get into that um, very shortly. I do want to mention it. So you hear a lot about email marketing, and I'm always about that you want to um, sell your services or your products that... Um, that solves a problem, but it's not like sleazy sales practices, right? You always want to be truthful. You always want to be honest, right? Um, you want to, and that's how you'll stand apart from other emails. And during this time, your potential clients, your customers, they're definitely going to be bombarded with emails. So you have to make sure that your stands out. And once they open it, right? Once they open it, they're definitely going to see the value and what sets you apart from others. Email marketing during the holidays is one of the most cost effective and impactful ways to reach customers. And it's important to understand that all holiday, excuse me, not all email templates um, during this time are made the same. If you make those small adjustments that I just mentioned, you can have a, in, a huge impact on your open conversion rates. 
So what should be included? So one of the elements is your subject line. A lot of people forget about the subject line. It's like the last thing they think about, right? Before you write your email, you have to ask the question, what problem am I solving? And that needs to be addressed in your subject line. Depending on your um, email provider or email marketing like dashboard that you use, whether that's um, MailChimp or Flowdesk or uh, any of the other ones that are available, if they have this, you need to know your subject line and your subheader. The number one job of your subject line is to get the reader curious enough to open your message instead of instantly clicking delete. An unopened email is a gut punch to your business, especially during this Black Friday uh, weekend. Okay, your subject line and your subheader. I'll talk about it a little bit further in the presentation, but your subject line, is, again, has to be able to solve a problem, right? Even if it's asking a question, then your um, your subheader should um, be able to tell them what the next step is, right? So again, I'm getting ahead of myself, but for, so for instance, like, are you tired of the mom bod? Subheader could be, um, see what's possible in 2023, okay? They work together as a team. The second thing you'll need or a second element in your um, email template is that you want to personalize it, right? Decide if you're using the first name uh, in the top line. Um, excuse me, I'm a little over place. Let me go back. So when I mean by personalize your content, sometimes you're just getting email and it doesn't have any type of personalization with it. Just by adding um, your, your subscriber's first name in the top, it comes off more friendly, right? I highly recommend doing this. These extra touches of personalization can go a long way. You know, it's the difference between saying, hey, friend, and hey, Michelle. It's like, oh, you know me, or hey, I know this probably was sent to hundreds of other people, but it still feels different when it's your name. Okay, so personalize it if possible. Now you have me at hello. This is the section where, okay, they read your subject line, maybe they read your subheader, you've personalized it, and now you're getting into what I like to call like the mini intro, mini greeting, right? So in the example I just used, I said, you know, are you tired of the mom bod, right? This is where now you're going to keep, and, that, and we talked about, let me go back, I said, are you tired of the mom bod, see what's possible in 2023, right? So in this section, we're going to still talk about that problem, and at the very end of this, we're going to talk about the solution, okay? And then we're going to get into um, uh, your product or service that, that solves that problem. So amazing copy has an engaging cadence, right? Beginning, middle, end, just like your favorite story or your favorite movie. Don't lose sight of your purpose for the email. You have to stay focused. Making your intro compelling um, has to grab their attention, right? And now it's time to pique their interest. If you are an e-commerce business, it's very important. In this section, you want to keep this section short and add eye-catching visuals, okay? So if you are selling ponchos, right, then your subject line and your subheader would have meant, had something to do about, like, um, chilly weather for 2023, or chilly, chilly, um, chilly weather styles, um, something, I don't know, right? Catch the cozy vibes inside, something. I'm just totally making this up right now. So that would not have been something that I would have written for a client, just FYI, okay? Um, but once you've gone into your hat me at hello, you was like, take a look at some of our most sought after ponchos for 2023, right? And you will hit them with a few of those ponchos right then and there, right? Because it's e-commerce. Because they're, they're, you're speaking to their pain point, which is being chilly, being cold, but also wanting to be fashionable. If you're selling a service, you have to speak to that person's or person's individual pain point, um, you know, recognizing what that is. And you might have to, you know, tell, tell the story a little bit more before you can really get into like the selling part. And we'll go into the, and yeah, um, an example in a few minutes, okay? Uh, so this section is gather around, let me tell you a story, 
right? So this is more so, I would say you can definitely use this section if you're an e-commerce business, but definitely if you're selling a service. This part of the email tells a story that evokes a reaction. So if you're e-commerce, this is where you put your bomb product images um, that will take center stage. Products are hard to sell without images. I also want to know if you are selling images, please, please, please make sure that they are high resolution. Do not use JPEGs. Do not use something that is fuzzy. If you are a one-stop shop and you are taking pictures of your product, that is perfectly fine. But excuse me, please make sure that your um, your camera is cleaned off, your lenses are clear, there's no blurriness, it doesn't look smoky, right? Usually if you see a smoky looking picture, it means that you have oil or something on the lens. Just make sure that it is crisp as possible. Now, if your email, I'm sorry, no, back to gather around, let me tell you a story. If your email is lengthy, feel free to use bolded text, bullet points, larger fonts, and white space to make your copy scannable. If you have a high ticket item, right? And I view anything as a high ticket item, anything over $100. We are heading into a recession, people, okay? So if someone is going to invest their money into your product or service, you have got to give them details, right? You've got to really, really, really um, break it down in a way that's scannable because we know that people don't always read every single detail. It has to speak to their pain points. They have to know that it's going to work, how effectively it's going to work, and what their next steps are so that they will feel comfortable um, giving your money to them. Now, some people will still do the same thing for a, a product that was um, $10 and a product that was $1,000, right? But you should just know, it's a good rule of thumb, that if you have a high ticket item that your potential customers are going to want more details. And so instead of just writing a lengthy email with a whole bunch of detail, just break it up, break it up with images, break it up with color. Um, depending Again, depending on your, um, uh, your, your email marketing program, the different types of templates that you can use to, you know, add color or add some type of animation, all of those, all those little small elements work together to get your product sold. All right. Call to action. So important. So important. So important. All right. Now that you had your beginning, the middle, the end, you've intrigued them. You have mentioned the problem. You have provided them with a solution. Now you need them to act, right? So you want to feel free to add your CTA throughout your copy. Now, I am not one of those copywriters that believe that you only have a CTA at the bottom. Anything that has an image or a header in your uh, email, it should be linkable, right? So a lot of times people will see my logo, they'll click on the logo, they'll either go to my sales page or I'll go back to my website. All right, so just make sure um, to have a CTA button image or link in the copy near the end of the email so the reader knows what they need to do. So if you only have one call to action, make sure that's at the bottom. It's probably the last thing they want to see. But do not be afraid to add call to actions throughout. Now, I would say, um, unless you're doing a, like a super long form email, I would say no more than three CTAs, one in the beginning, one in the middle, one in the end. If you're using headers for with your logo, I would link that to your sales page, to your website. Um, in the middle, after you've kind of given the solution, I'll put a call to action there. It's about how to get started. And then at the very end. Now, if you're an e-commerce store, each section should have a clear CTA button for the relevant product or page. Right. So if you're um, a boutique owner, you're selling hats, purses and shoes, then for each section of images. So you have a section of like your top selling shoes. Right. There should be a CTA either in that box or directly below that box. You have another paragraph and you're talking about um, purses. Same thing else. There should be a CTA, a button that goes to the purse section for them to view all of the other selections or to select the, that particular pair and go to your checkout, right? You want to make this process uh, as easy as possible for them so that you can get your sale, okay? Call to action and make sure that call to action is clear. Buy now, learn more, sign up. You have to be very specific. 
and make it human, right? So this is um, a lot of times you'll see in emails is that, you know, someone may, they may start with like the problem, the solution, the cause of action, and then that's it. So this is a day and age where people want to feel like they know you, okay? They don't have to know every single detail of your life, but they want to know pieces of you or why it should work, right? So, so my advice is at the end of your email, create a short third person description of who you are and what your brand is all about. People trust brands because the people behind them, um, let me take, let me take, let me take it back. Okay. People trust brands because the people, be, because of the people behind them. All right. Um, people trust me not because I'm a copywriter, but because they know bits and pieces of me, right? They know that I am a, you know, I'm a freelance copywriter. I work from home. They know that I'm a mom, that I, you know, um, I'm, I'm an actual person. I'm not a robot. This is not my business. It's not a, a copy meal. There's not 1500 people writing copy. It's me, right? So I take each project very, very seriously. And so once my clients know that they have trust around me, okay? So you're just trying to build a human to human connection uh, with your current customers or your potential customers. It's always important to understand that a person that said, maybe I can't do this right now, may like save your email and be like, wait, I know someone who's a copywriter. Or wait, there was, I got an email. I wonder if she's still offering the service or I wonder if they're still selling that product, okay? So always make sure at any time that you are creating an email that you take a few moments, a section, um, uh, take a few moments to um, make it human, all right? All right. And this is the final section of the email, right? And I always call it by the way. So then after you've had your short blurb about who you are, if you have any other um, announcement, okay, whether it's an additional link, another service, a product or a blog, this is where you will plop that in. So you could say, P.S., if you like the, if this collection, you'll love our spring uh, 2023 collection sign up to know when our um our line drops or our inventory drops right um and so by having that information you can already start plugging them in into your spring campaign for other things or if you have a low ticket item and people aren't really ready to invest in your high ticket item you can lead them there which is a sale is a sale is a sale okay now i know that was a lot I know that was a lot and I know that we're going over 15 minutes. So, so I know it's gone over my little 15 minutes, but it was a lot. It was a lot. And I want to make sure that you all are clear. because I know it was a lot of information. So we're going to get into an example of where all the things I just laid out for you in an actual um, layout. Okay. So stick with me. All right. Okay. So here is how, um, in a perfect world, this is how your email could look, okay? So this is just my own visual breakdown. Yours look a little differently, um, but this is what um, I think, you know, a, a, a engaging, effective email can be. So you have your subject line, then you have your subheader. I don't know where my pointer is, so hopefully you guys can see this, okay? So then you have your um, your, your sub subheader, excuse me. Then the introduction greeting, right? That's the personalization. That's the, hey, Michelle, hey, Robert, whatever that is, right? Uh, you had me at hello, right? So this is from the subject line. You had me at hello. And now I'm going to tell you how uh, my product or service can um, assist in those pain points. Gather around, tell me your story. This is how we're going to get into the solution. This is your call to action. This is your make it human where you give a couple of sentences about who you are and a photo here. You can also put a video here too, if you have the time. And then your by the way is any additional link, service, product, or blog um, that you have, okay? So here is an example uh, that I use some of this copy for my email sequence uh, for the product, the digital product that I launched a few weeks ago. So the subject line is, in a panic about your Black Friday promo emails, help us inside. 
Greeting. Hey, Michelle. Welcome to bargain season. Introduction. Black Friday sales week. Black Friday sales weekend is the craziest weekend of the year when you can score insane bargains. I mean, really, who doesn't love a great deal, especially when you can? And then I'm going to add an accomplice, a huge, significant result, right? So especially when you can um, gain new followers and get sales. Gather around, let me tell you a story, right? So this is when I talk about the uh, nagging pain point you have, right? So it can be so frustrating competing with larger companies on Black Friday. This is so familiar to me and so many other, which is why I created the ultimate uh, Black Friday email sequence bundle. Created to get you um, out of feeling uh, panicked and productive in no time, right? Uh, and then, so you'll have this positive outcome to your audience and you'll offer whatever the name of your product or service is. Um, it's suddenly way more accessible than usual, right? Um, and best of all, you'll have a huge, and you list your huge benefit, acknowledging resistance, time, energy, or money, right? So if someone is selling a weight loss program, like you save time and money, by exercising on your own schedule um, seven days a week, right? Or something like that. Then you have your call to action. You could talk about the value of it, um, mention the offer again. Uh, so if you've been on the fence because of the price, now the time to grab it up, make it human, you talk about yourself, your by the way, uh, you need some additional help and ready to invest in yourself, go ahead and grab blah, blah, blah. That could be your upsell offer, or it could just be a, um, a sign up for a webinar. It could be whatever it is that you want it. And that's it. Okay. Uh, that's pretty much how you do uh, your email sequence. Now I know I kind of rushed through that. So you can always pause the video and check out the example to think about how you want to um, structure your Black Friday email. Um, again, there's many different ways to write an email, but I do believe that those um, these uh, elements help your email be more successful successful in regards to how people respond to it and how they take action. And I have a by the way. <laughs> and so one more thing, uh, by the way, um, if I haven't already mentioned it before, my name is Michelle Farley. And I have mentioned that before, but I did create a uh, Black Friday email sequence for small businesses. I'm not going to walk through the whole spiel again, but What's I going will on, small play business the video owners? for My you. name is Michelle Farley of MichelleFarleyWrites.com, and I have a question for you. Have you sat down to write your email marketing campaign? Basically, you get an Friday? awesome Black Friday not, promo email sequence out, I have bundle. Covered. I created it a new resource specifically for Black for Friday through Cyber Monday. Thursday, Black it's Friday, all through the weekend through Cyber Monday. Time. In this um, bundle, I walk you through the email, email structure with of how your email should be set up, similar to what we did today. Around your product or service. Um, you Plus, will also receive um, um, some upsell templates. You'll receive two order bump templates. So again, if you're trying to uh, um, get your clients to go from a smaller ticket item to a larger ticket item, that's also included. And right now, it's on sale for $17. Um, if you are interested, um, you can What's click the going links, on um, below in this my video and you can go directly to com. my and website and or you. my um, you set sales down? page um, to get all of those things. Um, so basically, one more time, you can stop panicking about your sales copy. You can enjoy four sequent email templates with copywriting prompts. Take advantage of the bonus Thanksgiving Day nurturing email and the two types of order bump templates. Um, create excitement and need without sleeves, which is always my slogan. Quickly replace the blanks with your brand words and messaging and stand out and sell out during your holiday promotion. But best of all, you can write fast, you can sell out, and you can repeat these methods. Okay. So again, my name is Michelle Farley. You can follow me on all social media platforms under Michelle Farley Writes. If you have any questions, feel free to send me an email. And you can see that on the screen there. Um, and that's it. Um, until next time we speak, I wish you peace, joy, blessings, love, all that great stuff. And we'll talk real soon. Bye.